how does smoking affect your respiratory system? The lungs are the most affected area of the body, as it is where most of the smoke is absorbed. Unlike the mouth and throat which smoke bypasses. There are many different lung diseases, which include cancer. Your body is made up of billions of cells. These cells can get mutated and grow too fast. This is cancer. Tar increases the risk of cell mutation, which therefore increases the risk of cancer, especially in the lungs. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. This is long-term lung damage which occurs naturally in everyone eventually. However, smoking dramatically speeds up this process. Two types of COPD are emphysema, which means the contents of cigarettes stick to the air sacs causing breathlessness, and chronic bronchitis which means inflammation of the respiratory system. Smoking can also affect the lung structure directly. The air passages to the lungs contain small hair-like structures, called cilia, which removes dirt inhaled into the lungs. These can reduce the effects of smoking until the cilia gets destroyed because of tar sticking to it. This makes it much more difficult to remove harmful substances in the lungs, which means smoking causes even more lung damage because the lungs now fill with dirt, which means mucus builds up and traps even more dirt. This blocks the airways making it hard to breathe. This causes the smoker's cough. COPD and lung cancer risks now increase because more dirt can get into the lungs, which means more tar and therefore further increased risk of lung cancer. And COPD speeds up even more. Sudden symptoms may occur as a result of lung damage. Lung cancer symptoms are gradual, but they're sometimes detected too late. Although COPD is gradual, severe symptoms can appear very suddenly. In fact it's been known for smokers to die suddenly from COPD after feeling relatively healthy. Secondhand smoke causes problems for other people around you. Frequent passive smokers get even more lung damage than smokers. Since the UK public smoking ban on the 1st of July. 2007, this problem has been reduced. Should you quit smoking? The decision's ultimately yours. COPD damage cannot be undone, but quitting stops it getting worse. By giving up, you can help others and yourself. For those of you who want an easy and effortless way to stop smoking, please visit www.stopsmokingthefastway.com for more details.